Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video. It is currently half nine and it is still like kind of dark outside. It is so dull. And just to give you some context, uh, it is the 19th of November, so we are deep uh, into the winter months. But today I'm gonna be taking you through my best picks in McDonald's, whether your goal is to keep the calories of your meal down because you wanna lose weight, or whether your goal is to get you know a decent amount of protein in as well because you have a muscle growth goal. So I'm gonna be having breakfast, lunch, and dinner savage in McDonald's today which I am sure uh, a lot of people are jealous of and my criteria for each of those meals is that they have to have less than 500 calories and it can't be something crap like a McDonald's salad or something like that uh, and they also have to have over 20 grams of protein and I was actually going to do this video including like a lot of fast food chains but I wanted to do McDonald's on its own just because it is so popular first of all but second of all the menu is actually huge uh, so there are a lot of options but I definitely am going to be doing a few more of these videos because I just know that they are going to be extremely helpful for people uh, so if there's any fast food restaurant you want you want to see whether it be like a Subway, a KFC, a Nando's uh, what else is there? Burger King. And comment below, let me know, and I will get around to it. So, yeah, McDonald's breakfast stops at half ten. Actually, from tomorrow, it's a monumental day in Ireland because I think they're extending that to 11 a.m. So I am missing out on that. Missing out on making history. I should have made this video tomorrow. But yeah, I'm just going to answer a few more morning emails now uh, and then get moving. All right, let's do this. Meal one, baby. Hey, welcome to McDonald's for the breakfast. Hey, could I get a... To be honest, I'm a bit of a McDonald's rookie. Like, they always throw me with the questions. Like, do you want that as a meal or on its own? And I know that's straightforward, but I just like... I'm like, uh, just whatever. Hey, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Cheers. Now, Bye. Okay, breakfast time. So, I got myself a bacon and egg McMuffin. Uh, and I also got myself a little pack of fruit slices that I honestly don't even want to be honest but I just know I'm not going to be full uh, after the bacon and egg McMuffin so these will help with that uh, and they're obviously healthy as well. So let's talk calories and macros really quickly. So in the bacon and egg McMuffin uh, there is 348 cals and there is 21 grams of protein and there was actually a couple of options that I could have went with here so when I was looking online one thing you can do with this is get the bacon and egg McMuffin without the bacon so it's just like an egg and cheese McMuffin and that reduces the calories I think then it only has like 295 calories but it also reduces the protein to like 16 grams or something crap like that so I didn't want to do that and then there was another option that was kind of standing out to me it was the bacon roll uh, and that contained 351 calories and 22 grams of protein. So yeah, a couple of decent options for you there. And at the end of the video, I'll probably display some like McDonald's cheat sheet that you can screenshot and use yourself. Oh, and the fruit bag contains a total of 46 calories. Okay, let's go. Not gonna lie, I've never had a bacon and egg McMuffin, never. I know they're gonna be unreal though, ooh. It just looks so good. I'm actually parked in a very public place, so if someone walks by me right now, they're gonna be like, what is going on there? But then they'll see the bacon and egg McMuffin, and it will all make sense, because it just looks so good. All right, first ever bite of a bacon and egg McMuffin. Let's go. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is... Class. I'm trying to savor it, but it's just you just can't you just need to keep going final bite mm, mm, mm. All right, so biggest anti-climax of the century is moving on to this fruit bag after them and the receipt is also here Actually, so this cost me a total of four euro and 80 cent, which is actually not bad value that bacon and egg McMuffin was 350 and the bag of fruit was 130 so in here we have slices of apples and grapes one of your five a day Hmm, very juicy to be fair mm. let's try a grape not bad I think I underestimated these. It's kind of a nice way to end it. 
Okay, we are done. I'm actually feeling quite satisfied after that. So in that whole meal, uh, there was a total of 394 calories and 21 grams of protein. Boom. Okay, what time are we at? It is 13.43 and I'm just about to go to uh, the gym while I'm going to McDonald's first to get my lunch. And then I'm going to the gym and I actually want to show you this delivery that I got the other day. Boom. Quest sent me out a big cheeky box of protein bars. Quest are literally the goat of protein bars. Like they really are. I remember Quest protein bars back when I thought protein shakes for steroids like that's how long uh, these are around and the flavors actually look so good as well this is their new uh, chocolate hazelnut flavor which I haven't tried yet um, and yes s'mores is in there rocky road blueberry muffin white chocolate raspberry this is my favorite quest bar so far anyway this is this flavor is just so good uh, I think there's a birthday cake one in here as well I'm yet to try this but this looks very interesting so yeah big shout out to quest for sending me these babies out and hopefully it is the start of a beautiful relationship where I just get free protein bars forever all right we are going in Okay, lunch is served and I got myself a double cheeseburger and I also got myself a side salad as well uh, just to bulk up the meal a little bit and also for them micronutrient gains. So in terms of calories and macros, let's talk about the double cheeseburger. So this has a total of 440 cals uh, and 26 grams of protein, which isn't really bad whatsoever. And then the side salad has 18 calories. And when it comes to like the burgers and the sandwiches on the McDonald's menu, there was one other that kind of rivaled the double cheeseburger in terms of, you know, how good they were. Uh, and it was the barbecue chicken la legend sandwich. And that is actually something that I've gotten before and it's really, really nice. Uh, and in the whole thing, there is 484 cals and 27 grams of protein. So really similar, uh, but this is what I opted for today. Alright, the burger is a bit flimsy. Like, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be full after this thing, but let's give it a go. It's not bad. I think the barbecue chicken edge and sandwich is better. I kind of regret my decision, but if I got that with the side salad, the barbecue chicken sandwich, I mean, I think that would have brought me over the 500 calorie mark. So, yeah, I kind of had to get this, you know? It's not bad. It's just not great. Okay, let's give the side salad a go. And I got that balsamic dressing with it as well. And that contains 23 cows. Dressing is nice. Okay, we are finished up in McDonald's for now anyway. And all in all, that meal came to 481 calories and 27 grams of protein, which isn't too bad, not so far anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm just outside the gym now and I am about to hit up an arm session. So let's go. All right, I'm just finished up in the gym. I'm back outside uh, the promised land. About to get my post-workout meal slash dinner. Uh, it is currently just after half five and it is pitch black, as you can see. Ireland, you are a disgrace. But yeah, let's head on in and see what I can find. Okay, dinner has arrived and I got myself a wrap and I also got myself a salad as well. So let's start with the wrap and I went with the barbecue and bacon grilled chicken one. But to be fair, well, the first reason I got a wrap is because I wanted to keep it interesting. I got like a burger slash sandwich earlier. 
uh, but all of the wraps here are pretty calorie and macro friendly. So for example, in this barbecue chicken and bacon one, there is 366 calories and 26 grams of protein. But there's a lot of other good options as well. So there's the hot Cajun chicken one, uh, and there's also the sweet chili chicken one as well. So whatever you fancy, as long as it is grilled, uh, the crispy ones are not as calorie friendly as the grilled ones. Then with regards to the salad, first of all, it actually looks really, really good. So it is the grilled chicken salad. And in the whole thing, there's only 133 cows and 20 grams of protein. So yeah, I have to say I am happy out with this meal and all in all it comes to 499 calories So I am cutting the 500 calorie limit really really tight uh, But yeah, it fits. All right, let's give the wrap a go mm. That is actually so good way better than that shitty little double cheeseburger I got earlier. Wow, it's really good The salad is nothing special. It's just a salad. It's actually a bit of a rip off as well. So the wrap was 310 and the salad, which is definitely worse, was 550. Should have just got two wraps. All right, I am back. I am showered. I am feeling fresh and I want to do a little summary of today. So all in all, across those three meals, I consumed 1,374 calories and I consumed 94 grams of protein. So I averaged 500 calories, less than 500 calories I should say, and over 30 grams of protein per meal. And that just goes to show that McDonald's does not have to be all that bad. Yes, it's not the highest quality of food, uh, but you can still go and you can still make some smart choices. And on top of my calories and protein being pretty on point, I also had a fruit bag and two salads as well. So in terms of micronutrients, I did pretty well. So I'm gonna wrap the video up there, but before I do, I want to display a little McDonald's cheat sheet on the screen now, just showing the best options. And if you find it helpful, please smash the thumbs up button because that will be a good indication that I should keep doing, you know, the cheat sheets uh, and this style of video. And also please comment below what restaurant you want me to do next. I am thinking a Nando's or maybe a Subway, but I can easily, easily be swayed. So if you want to see a restaurant, comment below uh, and I will get it done. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.